In this week's video, I'm just going to show you quickly how to connect Google BigQuery to Tableau. So here's my BigQuery project. As you may know, BigQuery is a data warehouse. And in this data warehouse, I've got a couple of different data sets, but I'm looking at this project here. Um, and inside there, I've got a database I've called Deloitte. And in that database, I have a table called IMDB. And this is just an IMDB data set um, that I pulled off Kaggle just for the sake of this video. All right, so I'm just going to quickly uh, query this in BigQuery and you'll see what's on the table. So we've got like various uh, data points about uh, IMDB movies uh, from a number of different years. And really what I want to show you is that we can pull this in BigQuery and then filter it down. Um, so I'm going to go to BigQuery and here I'm signing in through Google and the beauty about Google Cloud is you can sign into the same project just using your Google account. So I've just authenticated the project and now my connections BigQuery going into my project, going into my first project, going into the database and I'm going to pull this table out IMDB. And if you had loads of tables in there you could do joins and the whole lot but this is just a simple kind of intro video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of most of the columns because I don't want to have to query this every time I want to use it. So I'm taking out all the columns I don't need, uh, really only using columns that I can quantify um, and are worth it for my uh, data purposes. Um, so I'm going to take out most of these and just going to hide them. And then I am going to do a filter on the data level. And this is important because this means that this kind of goes into the query, into BigQuery, so we won't be looking for data um, that doesn't match up with this. So essentially, I'm just going to go by gross. I just want like significant movies, over 100 million in gross. Um, so I'm going to do 100 million and up. And then I'm going to just pick the last, I think there's two, 19 years or so. Um, so I'm going to go for 20, 2001 to 2020 and then press OK, and then we will update this. And now this is my custom query from BigQuery, and every time, if I left this live, every time I'd go in, this will just pull from the database. But instead of going live, I'm gonna take an extract, um, and this will take a snapshot of the subset of the data and save it on my machine. And you can go in and edit your filters. I already put them on, but you can do a few more things in here, add more filters, add some aggregates. Um, but I'm just going to leave this as it is and I'm going to update to see what this pulls and I'm happy about this. I want to keep a, a copy on my own machine just in case um, I go offline at some point. So I'm going to go to sheet one but when I go to sheet one this is now getting me to save it in my Tableau repository data sources. So this saves this data as a hyper file because I've extracted it. So I'll show you this later on. So I'm going to save this down. I can now make any visualization off the sheet, but it's a copy of the data um, and extract of the data. You can see I have use extract in here. And now I can refresh this extract at any time, but I am using an extract of the data. And it has my same parameters, which I said earlier on. So that's all that's coming into my sheet data. And now just to show you opening up the hyper file, I'm in my Tableau repository data sources. And when I open this hyper file, this will just open the data. And obviously, if you have um, like visualizations in there, you can set it as a workbook or a packaged workbook. So that's it. Just a very quick tutorial on the marriage between BigQuery and Tableau. I hope you found it useful. If you liked the video, please leave a like down below. If you want me to cover any other connections, just uh, leave a comment down below and I will. Thanks for watching the video and see you next time for another Tableau tutorial.